Hi, I'm Chris Anderson at the EE Web Tech Lab, and today I'm looking at the IR3846 Synchronous Buck Regulator. IR refers to it as a Super Buck, which is appropriate because it's capable of 35 amps. It's highly integrated, easy to use, and a very efficient DC to DC regulator. Typical applications for the IR3846 would include things such as netcom server or storage applications, as well as embedded telecom systems and distributed point of load power architectures. So let's take a look at the actual hardware. The switching frequency is programmable from 300K to 1.5 meg to suit whatever application you have. It also has all the features you would expect from such a highly integrated regulator, such as soft startup, an integrated LDO so you don't have to supply an external VCC, over voltage protection, and thermal shutdown, as well as many other protection and security features. Here you have the actual IR3846. It can take up to 21 volts input. Uh, this board is configured for 12 volts, which is what we have on our programmable supply. Again, it can do 35 amps output, which I think is very impressive for such a small package. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up a few of these loads. We'll measure the voltage across them and then we'll calculate back to the current. So here's a one ohm, 1% uh, resistor, it's supposed to be able to handle, I think, 50 watts, so should be fine there. So we'll hook this up. We'll set our power supply for 12 volts. I'll turn on the output. And you can see that the source is supplying uh, a little under a quarter of an amp and that works out to be 2.68 watts. So, whatever our voltage is, since we have a one ohm resistor, remember V equals IR, if I equals, or if, if R equals one, then uh, V equals I. And we're getting about 1.4 volts, should be about 1.4 amps. So, let's turn this off, so I don't shock myself. Now this is a 0.1 ohm resistor, 10%, capable of 200 watts. Uh, obviously more than sufficient, but. And we'll turn our supply back on. Remember we're at about 2.68 watts on the input. Uh, with our one ohm resistor, here we're at about 0.1 ohms. This is a 10%, so there's gonna be more variation, but. Now we're drawing about 1.7 amps and hitting about 21 watts. So if we measure across this, now we're gonna multiply by about 10. Again, I don't have the exact resistance number, so we'll just assume it's 0.1 ohm. And at 1.4 volts, we should be at about 14 amps. So this last one should put us pretty close to 35 amps. We have a 0.01 in series with a 0.02 with two 0.01s in parallel. That should give us about 0.035 ohms. Let's turn our output back on. And now you're seeing we're drawing about 54 watts, about four and a half amps. Now we're hitting about 1.25 volts. Uh, have to do some math there, but it's gonna be pretty close to 35 amps. If you have a need for a low voltage, high current regulator, the IR3846 certainly should be considered with such a small footprint and being so easy to use, it is probably suitable for many such applications.